Renee talked about the legacy and the generation yeah. to come. We're in 75 years of the Windrush legacy. Yeah, how course. do you think our ancestors, are, how do you think they would feel about this right now? Um, you know, uh, for me, like, my my mum was, like, part of the Windrush and all of that. And, you know, she didn't really understand the younger generation's music, but she supported that. We was coming together and doing something that was looked upon as good rather than bad. So I think that the impact that it's had, you know, is um, a very good impact. Yes, you know? fantastic. And you, you're obviously a Windrush baby. What does Windrush mean to you? When you hear the word Windrush, what comes to mind? Um, I just think, I just feel, my, kind of feel what my mum was going through. You know what I mean? I feel yeah. a bit of her pain. I understand what it's like. And then I understand what it's like being judged in mm -hmm. this generation or how we look and how we behave, being judged by the society that looks down on us. So I get it from that. Do you think anything's changed since then till now? Do you think it's got better or do you think it's got worse? I would say 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, okay. you know, you, they'll move 10 steps forward, but they'll, instead of moving 10 steps backwards, they might move 10 steps to the left. All right. You know, yeah. but we're making progress. Eventually, you know, from yes. instead of going 10 steps back, you're going to the left. So eventually, they might move forward. And you have a really interesting background. We're celebrating 75 years of Windrush. What mm -hmm. does it mean for you with the background? Tell us a bit about the background and what okay. this means for you. So my mum's from the West Indies, Grenada, small mm -hmm. island in the Caribbean. Um, and that has Yoruba ancestry. It has Arawak, you know, native Indian. Um, and on my father's side, he's Hindu, but born in Kenya. Wow. Um, yeah, and, and the man who raised me is Somali, French. Wow, <laughs> yeah. it's a very, very so broad mix right broad there. Mix, yeah. Brilliant. So have they had any experience with the Windrush? Do you know about the Windrush? Um, well, my mum came to England when she was about 18 and started her modelling career. So, mm. uh, But she was born in Hertfordshire anyway. Okay. Um, my grandmother, she chose to remain in, in, in Grenada. So we haven't had anyone you know, sent back or anything like that. But a lot of our family did come yeah. during the yeah. Windrush. And so okay. it means a lot to us. So you're a Windrush baby? One of kind of, yeah, <laughs> kind I'd of say Windrush. I am, yeah, definitely, because yeah. my roots are back home. Yeah. 75 years of the Windrush. When you hear that, yeah. what does that mean for you? It's a lot. It means, it means, how can I say it? It means um, a lot to our people, because right. I know obviously the Windrush generation, um, without them, I don't think we'll have much right. culture right. here, right, right, in the UK. Right. True. So, um, yeah, it's very, it's very important. I don't, to be fair, I'm not going to stand until like I know much about it. I know the ones and fews, but um, yeah, no, nah, it's a good look. And obviously, black and proud, isn't it? So, we wear that. Absolutely. And do you think things it. have changed for the better since when our, uh, you know, mothers and fathers came over here? Or do you think things are... Well, things and times have changed. Um, it's got a lot busier. It's got a lot harder. But... You know, we're fighters mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I'm, I'm a Rasta pick me. Right. Our parents are Rastas, R.I.P. to all, she's a Rasta right, pick. Right. She always told me, keep going and, you know, lying in the jungle. So we look after our own and we push our own. You get me? We don't just push ourselves, we push everyone around us. 